Shortest Celebrity Marriages in History Everyone wants to believe true love exists, but not every relationship can stand the test of time. Even though they agreed, till death do us part, these celebrity couples show us love can be very short-lived. Just as quick as they might have decided to get married, we'll show you which celebrities raced to the courthouse to file for divorce. Some marriages lasted several months, while others only lasted a few days. We're about to show you some of the shortest celebrity marriages in history. But just how short do you think the shortest celebrity marriage lasted? Make sure to stay tuned till the end to find out. Let's get started. Jim Carrey and Lauren Hawley these two met on the set of Dumb and Dumber and were already seeing each other by the time his divorce from his first wife was finalized. They were married in a low-key ceremony on a mountaintop in September 1996. Only 10 months after their marriage, in July of 97, Holly filed for divorce claiming irreconcilable differences. The cause of the breakup quickly sparked rumors. Some said that Carrie's temper was to blame, while others claimed that Holly had been going out with fellow actor Edward Burns. Despite speculations swirling around, neither actor commented on the matter. Their marriage marriage lasted 309 days. Jennifer Lopez and Chris Judd J-Lo and backup dancer Chris Judd first met in 2000 on the set of her music video, Love Don't Cost a Thing, where Chris was one of her backup dancers. By June of that year, Chris proposed to Jen and they shared an intimate wedding in September 2001. They almost made it a year into their marriage, but in July of 2002, she filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Their lawyer shared a statement that read, Jennifer Lopez and Chris Judd have announced they have resolved all issues arising out of their marriage. The resolution was extremely amicable. Their marriage lasted two 218 days. Drew Barrymore and Tom Green Around 1999, these two met on the set of Charlie's Angels. They headed off right away and began dating. They got engaged in 2000 and married in 2001. Tom filed for divorce a few months after their wedding, citing irreconcilable differences. Their divorce was later finalized in 2002. Despite the brief duration of the marriage, Drew has since claimed that there were no animosities between the two of them when they parted ways. Their marriage lasted 163 days. Sophia Bush and Chad Michael Murray the pair met on the set of One Tree Hill in 2003 and quickly fell in love. Fans were ecstatic when the co-stars began dating in real life, and even more so when they tied the knot in April 2005. Unfortunately, their relationship ended quickly and the couple divorced just five months after they married. Despite breaking up, they managed to work together on One Tree Hill for years, which ended up being quite awkward. Their marriage lasted 163 days. Carmen Electra and Dennis Rodman the actress, model, and former NBA player first met in a nightclub in Los Angeles in 1998, where he fell in love the instant he laid eyes on her. Just a few months later, they shocked the world when they secretly got married in Vegas. Then, just nine days later, Rodman ended up filing for an annulment, noting he had not been of sound mind the night they got married. It became clear that Carmen was also not in the best state of mind since she was still dealing with significant tragedy having lost her mother and sister barely two weeks apart just a couple of months before she married Rodman. After coming to their senses, the two were able to reconnect and the two tried to sort things out, but it didn't end well and the pair filed for divorce just four months after marrying. Their marriage lasted 129 days. Renee Zellweger and Kenny Chesney the Jerry Maguire actress and country music singer-songwriter had a romantic island wedding on May 9, 2005. However, Zellweger filed for an annulment four months after their wedding, citing fraud as the reason. People then started to speculate Chesney was gay. The speculations received so much attention that Zellweger then released a statement clarifying, the term fraud as listed in the documentation is simply legal language and not a reflection of Kenny's character. I would personally be very grateful for your support in refraining from drawing derogatory, hurtful, sensationalized or untrue conclusions and greatly appreciate your understanding that we hope to experience this transition as privately as possible. Their marriage lasted 128 days. Pamela Anderson and Kid Rock the Baywatch actress and the musician met backstage at a VH1 Divas Live tribute to Aretha Franklin in April 2001. A year later, he proposed to her in Las Vegas. The next summer, they had broken up, and he later revealed it was her reluctance to move and issues surrounding the prenup that led to their split. Then a few years later, around July 2006, they reconnected on a yacht in the south of France where things reignited between the pair. He told Rolling Stone it was like, let's 
fucking get married and get it over with. Later that month, the two got married on a yacht in Saint Tropez with Anderson wearing a white string bikini and captain's hat and Rock shirtless with a fedora. Because the marriage was deemed invalid under French law, the couple made it legal the next week at a Beverly Hills courthouse. Four months after Anderson and Rock's spontaneous wedding, she announced they were splitting up and filed for divorce by November 2006. Their marriage lasted 122 days. Nicolas Cage and Lisa Marie Presley these two dated for almost two years before getting married. Not long before the two got together, Presley had split from Michael Jackson and called off her brief engagement to John Osaka at the time. Cage and Presley made it to the altar and tied the knot by August 2002. However, just a few months later, they announced their separation. Because the two both kept their lips tight in regards to their relationship, it was never revealed why they split. I did not talk about the marriage and I am not going to talk about the divorce, Cage said through his publicist in a statement. I'm sad about this, but we shouldn't have been married in the first place. Presley said in her own response to CNN, their marriage lasted 107 days. Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys the socialite and media personality met Humphreys while he was still playing in the NBA. They dated for six months before getting married in August 2011. The couple had a lavish wedding that reportedly cost $10 million and it was aired on the reality show, keeping up with the Kardashians for two days. The wedding may have been a fairy tale, but apparently their marriage was not. Kim filed for divorce in October 2011, citing irreconcilable differences. Meanwhile, Humphreys claimed that Kim married him purely for TV ratings. Their marriage lasted only 72 days. Mario Lopez and Ali Landry This couple dated for six years before marrying. They seemed to be in it for the long haul, or so Ali thought. The pair got married in 2004, but just two weeks after their wedding, they decided to end everything. This came as quite a shock to many. It appears that Mario Lopez's infidelity caused the marriage to fail. In his tell-all book, Mario discussed the specifics of his divorce, admitting that he had cheated on Ali at his bachelor party. I got inebriated and a little too friendly with a young lady. When it was time to return home, lightning hit me with the truth. I wasn't in love, but I walked down the aisle anyway. Ali was hurt and angry, rightfully so. Their marriage lasted only 18 days. Eddie Murphy and Tracy Edmonds in 2008, Eddie Murphy tied the knot with Tracy Edmonds on the French Polynesian island of Bora Bora. Despite the fact their marriage was not technically legal in the United States, the couple did exchange vows and wedding rings, making it appear to be official. Everyone thought the couple was madly in love, but then Tracy filed for divorce 14 days later. The HuffPost claims that she chose to divorce Murphy because of his changed behavior. According to her close friend, Eddie became bossy, physically aggressive, and insisted his mother to accompany them on their honeymoon. And for Edmonds, who had already already made so many compromises, that was eventually the final straw. Their marriage lasted only 14 days. Cher and Greg Allman Cher married Southern rocker Greg Allman in Las Vegas only four days after finalizing her divorce from Sonny. It's amazing they even decided to get married considering her first date with Allman ended with him passed out on the toilet from drug use. Cher filed for divorce just 10 days after they got married. She just couldn't cope with his problems with drugs and liquor. Despite filing for divorce, she agreed to make an effort to give their marriage another shot. And while they were on the verge of their divorce, they found out Cher was pregnant with their son Elijah. Despite the news they were expecting a child together, they still decided to move forward with their divorce. Their marriage lasted only 10 days. Nicolas Cage and Erica Koike Yes, you heard that right, we said Nicolas Cage. And you're not mistaken, he made this list twice. Around April 2018, this pair was already secretly dating and a year later when they went to Vegas, the pair got hitched. But this time, just four days after the wedding, Cage filed for an annulment, claiming that he was too drunk to understand his actions or even remember he married her. He said they both had drunk alcohol to the point of intoxication before the wedding, and he wasn't aware of her relationship with another person. It's safe to say, crazy nights in Vegas aren't just reserved for people in their 20s and 30s. Britney Spears and Jason Alexander the Princess of Pop and Jason Alexander were childhood friends and decided to have that spur-of-the-moment kind of wedding in none other than Sin City. They may have each said, till death do us part, but their marriage only lasted 55 hours. Jason has claimed he didn't want their relationship to end, and it was Britney's team that was behind their breakup. On a podcast episode of Toxic, The Britney Spears Story, Alexander revealed, They told me if I would sign the contracts, the annulment, they would let me and Britney continue our relationship, and if we felt the same way in six months, months, they would give us a proper marriage. Maybe her team really was looking out for her best interests here. Whatever the case, a good number of celebrity marriages that happened in Vegas seem to not have lasted very long. And although everyone wants to find love that lasts, unfortunately for these couples, they didn't find it here. Which celebrity were you surprised to see on this list? And whose story were you most shocked by? Let us know by leaving a comment down below.